Greetings fellow sinners, Patrick Coffin here with a walk and talk about the power of professional sports and the role it plays in the lives of so many people as a kind of substitute religion. Now this is not me, you know, slamming professional sports. I'm a sports fan. I grew up playing competitive hockey. I could skate before I could walk. I like golf. I like a good game of racquetball. So I'm competitive. I get the sports thing. That said, the structure of pro sports is a kind of parallel religion, if you think about it. We have uh, the athletes who are now, by any uh, stretch of the imagination, celebrities. The root word for celebrity is uh, cielo, which means heaven. So stars are like heavenly beings. They're like sort of substitute saints. We have b uh, baseball and football cards, primarily baseball cards and hockey. Um, they're like holy cards. They've got pictures of the saints on them. And as athletes and young people are supposed to aspire to the athletic skills and the, the, um, the sportsmanlike conduct of athletes, so young Catholics and other Christians are meant to imitate the virtues of the saints. There's even a kind of symbolic heaven in this uh, substitute religion or this parallel system of worship, and that is the Hall of Fame. Um, there's a, a, a liturgy. It includes a an opening hymn, a processional hymn known as the National Anthem. There's often reverent moments of, of silence. There's sometimes there's prayer, depending on uh, the context of the game. So there's a lot of parallels, including uh, the liturgy, which happens once a year. The really important liturgy is the symbolic fight between good and evil, known as, variously, the Super Bowl, the World Series, the Stanley Cup, the Masters Tournament, and so on. And in these liturgies, the spectators, i.e. the faithful, vicariously participate in this battle over good and evil. Evil being the opposite team, good being our team, of course. So, you know, man was made to worship. Worship is in our DNA. We're, we're, we're designed that way, so to speak, to, to reach up for, to a higher value, to a higher power, and surrender ourselves into the power of that higher being, which, as Christians, we know is God the Father. And so, it's interesting to me how professional sports has taken the place of worship, especially on the Lord's Day. I've never once heard of a man telling his family at the end of his life on his deathbed, Honey, kids, gather around. I, I, I have one last thing I want to tell you. People, I wish, I wish I'd watch more ESPN. Those words are never spoken. And yet millions of men give themselves over to sports statistics and the game becomes all important. Uh, no problem leaving mass before the final blessing or whenever you want, as long as you don't miss an ounce of time from that other quasi-liturgy called the ball game or the puck game, as the case may be. This is Patrick Coffin. Subscribe, rate, and review. Keep in touch here at patrickcoffin.media and enjoy my podcast, The Patrick Coffin Show. Come back often and tell a friend. In the meantime, be a saint. What else is there?